What a matchup between two of the best in the world. Belmo head to head with a four seed Anthony Simonson here in the semifinals one game single elimination match. Let's meet Anthony Simonson. Simo is the baby faced bad boy of bowling. Dropping out of high school at only 16 to become a pro bowler, his scrappy style has gotten him far. When you grow up on the lanes, you grow up fast and tough. While he might look sweet and innocent, Simo's temper is anything but. He's known for his low to the ground, aggressive two hand style and aggressive attitude on the lanes. He's paid for it too, with fines to the league for going so far as to break equipment at a tournament. But he's breaking records as well. The youngest person to ever win a major, Simo is also the first to win a PBA Tour title using his backup ball. With so much riding on the line, can he keep his temper in check and claim a victory at the PBA playoffs? This is Anthony Simonson. He's one of the bad boys of bowling, that's for sure, but he is sure good in the lanes when it comes to delivering big scores. Originally from Little Elm, Texas, now lives in Las Vegas, where he helps run a bowling center there. His business at hand is winning here. Trip 10 pin, good start for Simo. All right. Keep an eye on these numbers right here for these two players. They're going to be up and upwards close to 20 miles an hour in that high rev rate. Simonson, a little lower rev rate for a two-handed delivery. Who's he facing this guy? The two-hander from down under, Jason Belmonte. Belmo. No, that's not like it. It's the thunder from down under, the man who changed the game when he introduced the world to two-handed bowling and started taking titles by storm. What's Australian for GOAT? It's 25 titles, five Player of the Year awards, and an epic Super Slam completion. But a PBA playoff trophy is one piece of metal not on our hero ship. Will that all change this year? He's the greatest! He's the greatest! This is Jason Belmonte. Belmo, 25 titles. Starts the semi-final match with a strike. Oh. They have met often on TV. 6-3 record head-to-head -head Belmo versus Anthony Simonson all time. Two major finals this year they met, US Open and the World Championship in Las Vegas. You and I called that, Randy, in March. Won by Belmo handily, 213-190. U.S. Open was 226-201. U.S. Open in Mooresville, North Carolina. And that was a win for Simonson, the prior matchup. So could go either way between these two titans of the game. Didn't like it. Comes in high. He's a six pin. Well, you heard him say it. Terrible shot right through the face. Very fortunate to just leave the six pin. Has his mark. Now let's take a look at these two completely different two-handed styles. Jason Belmonte, you can see, is much more upright. Look at the upper body lean right here by Simonson, and how much more up and down Jason Belmonte is. Much more back lean for Simo. Two completely different ways to throw it with two hands. 
Got by in the first round, got by Dick Allen. Perfect shot. Simonson tattoos the rack. And on top of the defending champ, Chris Prather in the quarters. Right in between second and third arrow on a pretty straight line to the pocket. And that's what you have to do with the earthing. That's Wayne. Simon Sint trying to stay close oh! early. Trip 10 pin, he will. Three up, three down for Anthony. Well, beautiful start by Simonson. Remember, in his last match, he finished with the last oh! eight in a row. And now he's starting with the front three. That's 11 in a row for Simonson. Pitch black uh, for Jason Belmonte. Same ball for Simonson. Wow, that's rare. Trip four pin. Yeah, that's big. And all. 10 knockdown for Belmo, head to head with Simon was so far perfect. Like Early re rack call by Jason Belmont. Only get two per match. And there they are. Simonson with the the back nine of his 270 game and now the first three. That's that's actually called an Andy Barapapa 300 game. Twenty fifth title came in the center a few weeks back. Chameleon Championship, part of the World Series of Bowling. Left lane, Belmo. The ball change and the oh three goodness, six man. ten up. Interesting that Belmonte got out of the urethane ball on the left lane that quickly and goes through the nose again. Can't cover a chop and a three pin up. The hill. Wow. Open frame and just like that, Simonson off to a perfect start. Leads by 32 pins and is sitting pretty. That's a big mistake there for Bill Monte. World's number one just gave that man there a big opening and that's the wrong guy to give it to. He's completely comfortable, knows exactly what his bowling ball is doing. Like I said, they're both using the pitch black uh, or at least they were until Jason switched balls on that left lane. Simonson tries for the front four. That's what happens when you take advantage you of your opponent's right. mistake. Trip 10 pin, 42 pin Bobby, lead for Simonson. He wants a re-rack. Second to Belmonte, like you said, at the US Open. Second at the World Championship. And don't think that that's not weighing on his mind. He would like nothing better than to give Jason Belmonte a good old fashioned thumping. It was the last event before the break due to COVID-19. Everything resuming on the PBA Tour in Florida in June and July. Oh, baby. Come Another on one. Now. Left lane, on. Simonson. How about the nickel? Front five, a 52 pin lead on the world's best bowler. Great break when you're on a four bagger. Increases his lead to 52 with that trip, 4 7 10. Belmonte State. Oh, baby. Come on now. Come on. Belmonte going with reactive resin on both lanes now. 
Well, that's a lot better. Labels the one three pocket. And Belmo knows very well he is going to have to put together a strike streak. Look at that ball rack. Lock for sixth Chris Schenkel Player of the Year award in 2020. Wants to cap it off with the big prize winning the PBA playoffs, but a big hole against Simonson here. Finding right. his look. The question is, Randy, will it be in time? Because Simonson's off to an incredible start with a front five. Well, the only chance Jason Belmonte has is if he strikes out but it's all Simonson. He's perfect through five. Belmonte Simonson head to head. Front five. Simonson perfect so far. Could we see another 300 game? It was a $10,000 bonus on the line if Simonson can complete the feat. It is no easy matter under this sort of pressure. Trip 10, stays perfect, halfway at home. Another great shot by Simo. That head just gets so far out in front, so down to the foul line. Remember, we, uh, we did some shows that he was on where he's added something else to his arsenal, which is the backup ball. Became a left-hander. Just incredible. Backup ball, meaning his bowling ball curving in the other direction. That was fun to watch. Summer clash. What a talent. Simonson keeps the roll going. That would be the front seven for Anthony. Five more to go to perfection. And here's how Jason Belmonte started playing it and where he's at now. Red ball is the urethane and the blue ball is reactive resin. You can see just how big a difference those two shots are. Look out. Oh my, he didn't like it. He didn't like it. Still struck. You can see it's just a little bit inside, but it held its line long enough to get to the 1-3 pocket. He can strike out for 248. Simonson's already in the 250. Go to the game. Turkey for Belmonte. Four bagger, Belmonte. Double wood to eight. That wasn't the best one of the game. That was not your best one of the game. The idea behind this conversion is covering both pins with the bowling ball. Which he does, double wood to eight, covers, but 54 pin lead, and here comes Simo with a perfect game on the line. Four strikes away from a $10,000 bonus, and more importantly, probably is a win of the semis over his nemesis, Jason Belmonte. Belmo has gotten better. Simon's twice in major championship finals. Looking for the front eight. Simonson. Yes. Eight up, eight down. Real straight with this shot here. But with that strike, Anthony Simonson just guaranteed himself $50,000.
because he is headed straight to the finals. Remember, 100,000 for first, 50,000 for second. Shocking result here, really. Belmo had been pulling so well. Holds number one. How much you can do against a 300 game, potentially? Looking for nine in a row. Yes, indeed. Trip ten pin. Down it goes. Simonson is bound for the championship and maybe another 300 game during the PBA playoffs. You've had one already with Francois Lavoie. Talk about getting even in a hurry. Wow. This is a beating. And I don't care who you are, the number one player in the world or me. Oh, wow. Somebody starts with the front nine. It's kind of hard to beat. Jason didn't like his bar reaction in his first matchup against Jacob Buttreff. He didn't like it in his second matchup against Francois Lavoie and somehow managed to shoot 266. And he didn't like it today. And it's obvious. Unable to beat Simonson today, but what a terrific year again for the number one seed and top player in the world. Player of the year voting. Be sure to follow NBA.com to see the results in the near future. It should be a lock for Belmo again to win his sixth Chris Schenkel Player of the Year. Two major titles. Coming up, O'Neal Smallwood. O'Neal the two seed. Finalist last year, Smallwood. Well, he's your Cinderella story into the fabulous four here. Well, he's not going to win this game. He's not going to win the PBA playoffs for 2020, but he certainly is going to win his sixth player of the year award. Uh, he had an amazing year. And... Um, you know, he's got nothing to hang his head about. Six, six shows before the playoffs. Three titles, two majors. I mean, ten pin final moments Give me a three of this best, match. All right? Come on. And he wishes Anthony Simonson the best. Going for a 300 game here. This kid may be only 23 years old, but I promise you, everybody on the PBA tour knows how good he is. Oh boy. Looks Play for another one, bit. didn't like it. Not right, sure why, because it was perfect. Come on. What a shot for Simonson. Two more to go. Hey, uh, Dave. Simonson's thrown 19 in a row. Oh, my gosh. Dating back to his last match. 19 straight strikes. This challenging pattern, this stage, under this kind of pressure, took down... Chris Prather easily. Took down Belmo easily. How about a 302? Looks for 11. No. Ah. No perfect game, but still a brilliant Ooh. match Good for job. Simonson. Good luck for the rest. Thank you, Chris. Whew. 19 in a row. Ooh, baby. Way to bowl. Way to throw one. Get that one out of the way early. What a win here, Randy, for Simon. Last two games, 270, 285. That, that's not bad. Wow.